All right, guys, here we go. We're using the Cambo SMGs here, which is, uh, we have the WSPM Swarm Cambo SMGs. We're gonna test this thing out. I actually have all the perks here. I got a Epic Ether tool, and I'm gonna do a Pack-Up Punch to right off the rip. So we're gonna use this, pop all these perks. So we're gonna test this out against the Mega Abomination, and we might go up against the Worm. Let's see how much damage this thing actually does. How are you guys doing here? What the fuck up? Ow. Fun fact, I actually did this intro like five seconds ago, but my dumbass wasn't recording the game audio. I might keep it in, I don't know, so we'll see. Dude, do some contracts here so we can save up money to get the pack a punch three weapon for this. I have stamina, but it doesn't feel like I'm running as fast as I should be. I feel like I'm running really slow. Run, Forrest, run! Alright, I'm kind of just gonna speed run these contracts real quick to get some money. Fun fact, if you guys actually equip your decoy grenades into your your inventory, wherever lethal tactical you're using in, in your inventory, and you're doing this, you just put it in your inventory and you won't lose your lethal tactical insta-kill. This made that much easier. Ow, what is hitting? Every time I do these spores, the little egg thingies, they always do damage to me for some reason. Uh. Yes, full armor I needed that. I literally had no armor at all right there. Alright, we got two more spores to do. We're the A local thingies. I don't want to hit. Yep, they're spores. Okay, I was right. Alright, we got one more spore to do. So we're gonna go over here into the last one. Look at these beautiful FS last spore. So what we got, self revive and a quick revive cam. We can use that for future games. I'll go ahead and steal that in my backpack. We switch weapons here. The effect should go away. Yep. So that's how you fix the bug. If you guys ever get that bug on your screen where like your screen's like foggy, you just switch weapons and go back to your other weapon and they should go back to regular. Why wow, that's even a thing, but now we can drop our inhibitors and then equip our decoys back. We put it in our inventory before we started the spore control. This specific contract takes way too long. I just noticed that my stocks on my weapons are moving and turning on its own. I don't know if it's the camo or my stock is literally moving. Probably just the camo. Four arms is going crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the camo moving. That is so weird. What we got? Probably nothing. Yep. All right. Bro, the freaking mercs in this game or AIs or whatever you want to call them are like so annoying. All right, this is our plan. So we're gonna we're gonna come over here. If we go to this location over here, this is where you get the pictures for the USBs to go into the worm boss. So we're gonna do that real quick. And uh, as soon as we go into the last tier three zone to get the last USB. I think the last USB is always in that location. Then we're gonna fight the abomination and see how fast this thing melts in the tier three zone. So we'll be a Hopefully we have enough time here because we're cut on time here. We only got like 30 minutes left, well 34 minutes. So we should be fine. The only thing I'm worried about about this worm boss is I don't have the golden plate armor because every like five to 10 seconds you gain a armor slot back, which is more powered. Wouldn't surprise me if a uh, trick nerfed that in the near future. I feel like I'm running a marathon. Like, come on, run faster. I have stamina for a reason. All right, we just gotta maximize the gameplay here. This door. Okay, this is the weird part I gotta pull get my phone out here. Zombies, can I please take a picture? I'm trying to take this picture so I can see the location of these USBs. Here we go, I got the locations, and yep, I was right. There's always one of the USBs are always gonna be in tier three, so we'll make that the last location we're gonna do. Then take out the abomination. Then we're gonna take the worm. Kind of scared because I might die because I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We die, we die. So the first location we need to go will be right here. First time doing these USBs and like learning the locations, it was really hella confusing, but after doing it so many times, you get to learn the locations and knowing where they're at. Hey, is there any vehicles? Tired of running. Truck over there. Yo, Mercs, what are you guys doing over here by the garage? What are you guys doing? Let me rob this store real quick for some money. I'll take this knife since it's the same one, but higher rarity. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hurry up and run to this truck, but it's taking freaking forever. Oh shit. Bro, these vehicles have the worst turning things ever. Like, you try to turn on these things and it takes five seconds to react to it. Hey, realize we're just gonna have to farm a lot of money here at the end because realize I don't have the uh, durable gas mask because if you don't get that, you're gonna be fighting the worm and the, the, the ether storm. So you don't have that gas mask, you're pretty much gonna die in the storm. The durable gas mask is way better. All right, the US first USB should be right here. Bada beam, bada boom. Let's grab the USB once it comes out. we go, now we need three more to go. Next location, should we go? Actually, let's go over here since it's kind of the closest. I'll go ahead and go over here and grab this vehicle over here. I know this game's trying to be realistic, but I don't think this vehicle should have gas in it, to be completely honest. I don't wish this game had a little more mobility other than riding vehicles and finding random redeploys around the map, but I guess it is what it is. At the red bar on my truck is getting pretty high up there, so I need to watch how many zombies I run over here because my vehicle will get disabled. As you know, gameplay. 
As I say that, I run over a zombie. Yeah, we're really gonna be short on time here, so I'm gonna get this ESP over here. This will be the second one. I'm gonna get the third one real fast, which is like right at the bottom of the map. Then we're gonna grab that real quick. Then we're gonna gain. We're trying to. We're gonna try to get some clutch it up, get as much money as possible, so we can get that durable gas mask and get pack of pack of punch three weapons. So hopefully we can get this, because we're we're only on a like a, a 45 minute timer time. That's the only thing bad thing about this. Which I hate, but hopefully they change in the future. But I guess you know when the day comes, if we come over here, there's gonna be a little cell out here. You know it's the right one when it's like spinning on top of it. We're gonna interact with this. It's gonna give us the USB. It's also, to get gonna have a large backpack in this because we got a medium or a small. This is literally USB is gonna take all your slots. Over there. I didn't realize how close that was. I should have went over there, but I didn't. That's fine. We'll just drive over there. We'll be there in no time. I'm low fuel. Yay. Oh, gas station right here. How convenient. I'm gonna get out here, take out these zombies real quick while that refills the vehicle. <laughs> this gun shreds armor. Oh my god. Get fast, I can take out the spore. Pray and pray, we should be fine. I'm gonna pop my energy guard to get armor back. Can't see shit. I'm just walking forward and shooting. Oh my god, we might die. Spray, 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 spray. Oh my god, am I alive? Oh, this gas bug needs to go away. Oh, we did get it. Okay. I'll grab that sentry gun. I need that. Revive. Yeah, we're getting perks that we don't have, so that's good. Butter knife? I just said butter knife. I was like, what? All right, the vehicle should be 100% good since we left at the gas station while doing that. So we have to go. head over here to our final destination. And we'll head into the tier three zone. Only had 23 minutes. Like the time limit, this sucks in this game. All right, we're going to grab this last USB and we're going to head into the tier three zone. And we're going to get enough money to grab a durable mask and a pack of three weapon. And we're going to be tight on this because we need self revives. We need a lot of stuff that we need over here. What the fuck? Hurry up, hurry up. The zombies on me. Can't move. They didn't fix a time where like when you're interacting with something like that, like you're just stuck in a in a position you just can't move until you like officially get off of that after like a couple seconds hopefully fix that okay now let's head to the tier three zone actually i might do a couple of contracts here see if i can get anything go 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 this vehicle slow go they got the base perks that i actually need the bad thing is we're gonna be low on money here hopefully we're not low on resources that perception already have that oh there's another spore at this gas station literally the same one but different location let me use my decoy grenade Got that in one go, oh my god. You can just spray forever with these things. Spray, spray, spray. I can't see anything. We got Shatter Blast. Good. Got a bunch of group up zombies next to this garage. Open these doors. There's gonna be mercs in here. Let's take them out. I hate when they smack it like that. It's so annoying. We already got Jug. What the fuck? Um. Well, we're fucked. Just took my truck off a fucking bridge somehow. Now we're completely screwed. This is not good. Zombies, please don't spawn in the road when I'm trying to take this to the station. Like, come on. How zombies coming up from the road anyways? My truck, I swear to God. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Another fucker. Right here, we can do it. Go, go, go. I swear to God, if it hits my fucking truck. Oh, uh, we did it. Holy shit. Fuck you, chopper. Fly away. Right, here we go. We're merely going to the... Tier 3 zone, we only got 17 minutes left, so we should have plenty of time to take out the Mega Abomination. Why am I running so slow? We have entered a tier 3 zone, which I hate being in because it's not my favorite part. At least I want to try to get a pack of punch 3 weapon before we take on the Mega Abomination. Just with pack of punch 2 weapon, and it's already shredding armor. Hey guys, we might run out we might run out of ammo. Gotta watch out. Need ammo, need ammo, need ammo. Let's see if I can cancel this escort so we can do a how do you do a cargo delivery. Whoa, I didn't. What? What did I die to? Yeah, I don't think we're doing the wrong bros this game. Ow. There's way too many zombies. It's a kill. Swarm down. Wait, we have a deal with cargo. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Need more ammo. Of course. I thought I had a throwing knife. I don't know why I threw that. Oh, there's so much stuff that we don't have. Might go to game chat and see if one wants to do the worm. Because I really don't feel like doing this solo. But I just popped that decoy. What the fuck? Ow. Yeah, I like how they nerf decoys. That makes sense. They want people to use freaking monkey bombs more when monkey bombs take longer to throw out. People are going to use decoys no matter what because they're faster. Got a sigil, shuttle blast. That's actually good. And now pack a punch now. Only concern is I don't have that many self revives. Right, we got pack a punch, three weapons. Um, yeah, seven missiles. This is not good. We still need a durable gas mask, which we don't have. Yep, these things are shredding. They're shredding pretty good. They're not bad. Yeah, this thing's melt armor. Okay, let's go to a buy station over here and let's buy a durable gas mask. I think it's four thousand to buy one of those. Yes, yeah, six minutes. Might be able to do a outlast here and get more XP. more decoy grenades. I wish ammo 
Yeah, there's ammo over there. There's one. I didn't, I didn't see that ammo over there. Run right past. We have six minutes and I haven't even fought the abomination yet. Sucks, man. We're short on time. Run, Boris, run. Nope. Nope. And I'm not liking this. We are short on time. Spread right it behind me. Can't see anything. <laughs> Die, you disciple. You unwanted creature. Fuck you. I'm about to say fuck and just take on the abomination. What's the worst that can happen? There he is. First any ammo. So the decoys. We're gonna waste the other one. I'm gonna try to kill him here. Heat his weak spots. Ow. Why is there so many of them? Ow. Die. Ow, ow, ow. I don't have armor. Don't have armor whatsoever. Oh my god! Really getting no armor. Decoy. Where's that ball? Die! We got this, we got this. Don't let me grab him for some reason. He's so low. Die, you mother trucker. He's almost dead! Kill him! How are you not dead? Finally! Ow! Oh my god. So many freaking zombies. Did you get anything good? Yeah, I have no shot against this boss, so we're, we're gonna take what we got here. Then we're gonna expo. The circle be closing. Yeah, these SMGs are pretty good, but I'm really questioning the fact it wasn't really good against the Mega Abomination. It was decent, but do I even have to reload with this thing? The ammo's whack. Yeah, we're gonna expo. My plan doesn't... See? You don't have enough time to do anything. But this might be like a final expo thing. I feel like they nerfed the zombie spawn... Zombie. I feel like they nerfed the ammos, because... The ammo drops are just really low. I don't know why they're nipping PvE game mode so much. It's no sense to me. I got more ammo. Yeah, we're literally doing a last minute expo here. Yeah. This thing melt tier too. One problem with this thing is you're gonna run ammo a lot. And with the zombies not dropping ammo, that's gonna be a problem. Oh my god, why is the final expo over there? Oh my god, I need a vehicle. Why is it over there? I mean, there's no vehicles over here. There's one over there. Not good. we less than five minutes to grab this vehicle and get to the final destination. Vehicle needs a hurry. Wait. Vehicle's so far away, dog. Really, like run him simulator. And this zombie's inside the fucking road. Run! This is not good. We actually might be dead here. Can't even see where I'm going. Dude, I can't see anything. We're legit dead here. Go, 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 go. Teleporter right here. Zippity zappity. Let's see if I can get out of the storm here. I don't want to waste this gas mask. Go, go, go. This is actually gonna be really fucking close. 70 seconds. Rod! Holy shit, we fucking made it.
I thought we were fucking dead there. Why is there so many zombies at this expo? Holy shit. I got 30 seconds to kill them all. How the way fuck did we make that? I can't believe we actually made it. Go, 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 go. We made it. Oh my god. The fuck? Why did that guy look like 50 cent? Bro, that was way harder than it actually should have been. I got four raw Aethem crystals. Oh my god, that was stressful. Here is my class setup. It's not the best, but it should work. It's actually pretty decent against regular zombies and armored zombies, but against Abomination, it's a little iffy, but it's it's a pretty decent setup. So if you go to your challenges, um, if you go to the aftermarket parts and go to the WSP Akembo bracket stock, this is what gives you the Akembo for this weapon. So it's complete daily challenges, make sure you, the challenge is active right here and the daily challenges and you should be able to get it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining